First up from the Times Now newsroom, a death sentence has been upheld in the Pune BPO murder case. Remember, she was raped and murdered in 2007. It is the Bombay High Court that has now pronounced its verdict on the rape and murder of Jyoti Kumari Chaudhary. We have Megha joining us on the phone line with the details of that court order. Megha? Well, in fact, uh, the court order has just come five minutes back and uh, the argument that had started on Friday continued till today and uh, it was essentially a very, very strong uh, prosecution that kept insisting on the capital punishment on the grounds that, uh, you know, whatever has happened reflected the collective consciousness of the society and that uh, something really needed to be done to ensure that such incidents do not repeat again in the future. Future and that, uh, you know, there were almost like 40% of the BPO staff that are uh, uh, women and that such incidents, uh, if harsh punishments are given in, in, in an incident like this, it will set a precedent. In fact, what they also kept saying was that this particular incident of Jyoti Komari, it was completely pre-planned, it was premeditated, Some an, a murder and rape that happened completely in cold blood that both the accused, uh, you know, at this moment, uh, I must also tell you that uh, the defense kept on saying that the capital punishment should not have been given because they do not have a criminal uh, background and this is the only incident, only crime that they've been involved in, despite that the lower court, the Sessions Court uh, in Pune had uh, handed over capital punishment to them. The conviction of course was held up by the High Court last week and they wanted to hear more arguments on the sentencing which concluded a few minutes back and the High Court of course has upheld the death sentence of the Sessions Court and a lot of uh, questions really uh, were raised uh, and a lot of points were raised uh, in the courtroom while the arguments were on and it was the prosecution that came up with a very very strong case from their side and, it's, and that seems to have prevailed over the uh, division bench and they upheld uh, the death sentence of both the accused. Of course, both the accused will now be appealing in the Supreme Court, but then you have right. a Sessions Court and a High Court that has already awarded death sentence to them.